Hello, this is Marnie from Spiceworks. Connectivity Dashboard is one of our new tools. I'm going to show you how to use it to identify and start troubleshooting connectivity issues on your network. This is the dashboard. It shows application response time perceived by your workstations organized by location and public IP. It performs ICMP and HTTP tests from your workstation to your business critical servers and applications. For example, general internet, like google.com, whatever cloud app your users are typically accessing in their daily work, like salesforce.com, any app in your data center, security cameras that are IP reachable, printers or printer servers, DNS servers, network share servers, backend servers such as a database, in which case you would install the agent on the front end server. Different response times are shown with different colors to make it easy to show patterns and help troubleshoot issues. This helps you figure out in real time the ability of your users to access their critical applications. So if only one user complains or no one complains, you know the real scope of the issue without the asking around and the guesswork. This gives you time troubleshooting what might initially seem like a workstation issue and make sure your users aren't suffering in silence. Let's take a look at some common use cases. This is what the dashboard looks like if the application is down. As you can see with the red column here, something is blocking the application. This is what the dashboard looks like if the application is slow. This isn't necessarily an issue with the application server or database. It can also be a problem with the network. Luckily, it's easy to check. Let's add a new application to test only the network portion. The difference will tell us who's causing problems. Since the ICMP connection is green, the application or the server it's running on is the problem, not the network. This is what the dashboard looks like if a site or sites are unreachable by the connectivity dashboard. I sorted by location so you can see that both Chicago and San Francisco are gray and unreachable. This can mean that they are not working, like if it's a weekend or night, or it can mean that the ISP is down for those locations. If you sort by location and a portion of the workstations are unreachable, like this example with Austin, look to see what's common with those users. Are they all on the second floor? If you know they aren't all out of the office, it tells you that there is an issue, like maybe with a floor switch. More troubleshooting is needed. So how does it work? The dashboard collects information from a small agent running on your workstations. Click the Agent Download button and go from there. It only takes two minutes to install your first agent. The more agents you deploy, the more data points you have. Think of them as clues you'll have to troubleshoot. We recommend a few agents per location at least, spread across the building. Ideally, all of your workstations could run the agent. We provide guidance for GPO-based deployment of the agent if you need it on the Spiceworks community. The connectivity dashboard will show you your critical applications like you've never seen it before based on simple and intuitive color coding. Check out the connectivity dashboard at spiceworks.com slash free network troubleshooting tool. If you have any comments or questions or just want to say hi, be sure to click on the uh, orange button here and tell us what you think. Thanks.